Have you ever felt like what you're facing is more than you can carry? My name is Nicole, and today we are going to be praying for endurance through trials. We've all experienced unexpected storms in life that have taken us by surprise. Maybe you've lost a job or received a bad doctor's report. Perhaps you've dealt with pain in your body or have lost someone close to you. Well, let me encourage you that God wants to draw close to you during these times. He wants you to cling to Him and trust His sovereign plan. The Bible says this in James 1, 2 through 4. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Notice that James doesn't say if you face trials. He says when you face trials. Not one of us are free to escape the hardship that this world so often brings. Pain just has a way of affecting all of us. But what we can control is our response. You can't know the depth of your character until you see how you react under pain and pressure, when everything is pressed against you and you are in the middle of the fire. Think about a mom in labor. Without the pain of delivery, there is no baby. In the same way, without trials to test and train our faith, there is no victory or reward on the other side. So how should we respond to our hard moments or hard seasons? First, we start by keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus. Stay focused on the Word of God. It shifts the lens in which we see everything. Hebrews 12, 1 through 2 says, And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Next, we trust that God is bigger and stronger than anything we might be facing. Remember the power of the God that we serve. Psalms 46, 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. And then lastly, we praise our way through our trials. Psalms 34, 1 says, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak His praises. You see, God's presence changes everything. Inviting Him into your hard place removes the heaviness off of you and onto the one who is able to carry it. James 1.12 says this, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Remember that your trials are never wasted and they will come to an end. God has greater purpose in the midst of your pain. Let me pray for us today. God, I thank you that you love us and that you are always with us. Lord, that you are present in the best times, God, and you are with us in our hardest, lowest moments. So Jesus, I pray that you give us the strength and the understanding to trust you, God, and to lean on you, to help us cast every burden and every care upon you, knowing that your presence Sets, ev sets everything apart, Lord Jesus. God, you were able to carry it. So we trust you today, God. We submit this day to you. In your precious and holy name we pray. Amen.